Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a wonderful life tag and I've added a lot of texture and shine to this tag. I'm starting off with the Botanical 3D Texture Fade from Tim Holtz. This is a beautiful design and I'm also using the metallic papers and this is the confections and I've chosen the turquoise blue color. For the best results in using the texture fade folder, what we need to do first is to spray this on both sides with some water. And I have my mister here. I'm spraying onto the metallic side, flipping it over, and also spraying onto the craft side. I'm placing my paper into the folder where the recessed image is sitting on the top. So you'll close that together and run it through your Big Shop machine with the sandwich suggested on your base platform. And when you remove your paper from the folder, you have a beautiful embossed panel. While your paper is still wet, you can remove some of that color by using a dry paper towel. And I'm just rubbing this around those raised areas of the embossing. What is cool about this is that it's still foil, but yet it's a silver color while keeping its metallic shine. I've added some adhesive to the back of the foil piece, and I'm just laying this flat onto a tag and making sure that I have it well lined up. And once that's dry, I can use my scissors to trim around the edges. I've die cut some snowflakes. This first one is the Tim Holtz Ice Flake, and that's on white cardstock. And then also the Simon Says Stamp Murray Snowflake, and I've die cut that from some Desert Storm. I've added some glitter to these by using some gel medium with my finger and ran that over the entire surface. Then I sprinkled on some Distress Rock Candy Dry Glitter on top to give me a little bit of a sheen and shine to these. So I'll hold these up so you can see how that glitter sticks so nicely to those snowflakes. I had chosen a Prima flower to set in the center of these snowflakes. So I have glued down the white snowflake first and then the desert storm on top and I'm adding some glue to the back of this flower. Then I can place my flower right in the center and give that a little bit of a push and allow that to dry. I'll be adding a greeting to my tag, and this is the Christmas word adornments, and I'm using a picket fence distress crayon, running it over the top of the adornment to fill in the crevices of the words. And then I'll use my finger to push in the rest of the crayon into those words and wipe off the excess with a baby wipe. I'm adding some glue to the back of the strip and then I can place this onto my tag. I'll clamp it down for a little bit and then secure each of the ends with some brads. To finish this off, I've added some metallic trimmings, ribbon from Tim Holtz and also some May Arts twine. And that tied everything together with the metallics and the natural feel to this tag. So I hope I've given you some inspiration in using some layers of natural elements, shiny elements to put together a holiday tag. And as always, thanks so much for watching.